Good morning, friends. Pastor Kelly here with you with the Friday edition of Sound Bites. On Wednesday, we introduced you into this system, into this entity um, called the cosmos, the world system. We established that the devil was the president of the world system, and this world system, this cosmic, that's the Greek word for world in the, in the New Testament, is, um, is a counterfeit system. Its main and only purpose is to undermine and supplant the kingdom of God. Its primary focus and attack is on Jesus Christ, but he attacks Jesus Christ through attacking um, the beloved of Jesus Christ, the church. So the cosmos is always trying to influence your life, always trying to impact your life. Louis Berry Schaefer, the great theologian, from years ago said this, the cosmos is a vast order or, or system that Satan has promoted, which conforms to his ideals, aims, and methods. It is civilization now functioning apart from God, a civilization which none of its promoters really accept God to share, who assign to God no consideration in respect to their projects, nor they do ascribe any causivity to them. This system embraces its godless governments, conflicts, armaments, jealousies, education, culture, religions of morality, and its pride. It is the sphere in which man lives. We live here. We breathe it. It is what he sees and what he employs. And to the uncounted multitude, it's all they ever know. That's the world. They All they ever know, as long as they live on the earth, it is properly styled the satanic system which phrase in many instances a justified interpretation of a so meaningful word cosmos. He said it is literally a cosmic diabolicus. I've always liked that. That makes it um, sort of make sense. So w this world system has a quiet, subtle voice. It's like that app writing in the background. You know when you're on your iPhone or your iPad and you realize, boy, this thing is sluggish, and you realize you have 92 apps open, you have to start sliding them all out of there, because all this stuff is running in the background. That's the cosmos. Media, music, tweets, um, Facebook, doesn't matter, boom, 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 hitting the church with the world's values to, to try to silence the church, number one, but more than that, influence the church. By influencing the church, obviously, they silence the church. Um, it never shuts up. It's always trying to wedge into your thoughts. It wants to tell you what success is and what beauty is. It wants to tell you what normal is. It tries to redefine normal for a non-biblical normal. It, it tries to tell you what you need to be happy. The cosmos um, teams up with your flesh and tells you what you need to be happy. It tries to tell you what your values are, what's important, what isn't important. It's trying to tell you to be fearful, like today's world we're living in. Be fearful, freak out, because the world is spinning and going crazy. And, and you're right, it is. It is, but we know we have a Father in Heaven. It's trying to tell you that you don't have enough faith for anything. Um, the focus on the here and now and not the eternal is trying to sell you the security of the moment instead of knowing that our lives are secure in heaven forever. Again, it's always trying to take this lying system, it's always trying to replace what God gives us and what God says with its own stuff. And the church subtly, if we're not careful and we don't hide ourselves in the word of God, begins to believe its lies. And the cosmos has um, been successful in so many cases in the church. Jesus, bless our words in Jesus' name. Amen.